the NIAC is a, an advisory committee we have, so these are experts from the Géant community that help us to identify the best possible solutions to build the next network we're building. We're building a large new fibre network throughout Europe with a considerable budget, but the budget is limited and we need to be smart, we need to do the right things and we need to do that in collaboration with the community. So the NIAC advises us on, on the best possible ways of doing things and how to do this and not that. And that's actually quite useful because it's um, they know what they do and they help us. Yep. So what happens is that the, we have a network now where we have fibers in 14 countries in Europe. What we're doing now is we, had a, we have a very big pot of money that we get from the European Commission that we can invest in new fibres throughout Europe or new connectivity throughout Europe so that we can expand the coverage of the existing network. And that is a, a big task. It's also one of the tasks is to bridge the digital divide. So that is going to countries where previously we had very little connectivity or connectivity is very expensive so we can't bring the full capacity that you need to connect to a big supercomputer or to move to the next big data center. So part of what we do is basically upgrading the network to be ready for the next 15, 20 years by doing a lot of investment now. And that's for the whole of Europe. I think it's really cool actually. But <laughs> yeah, so, so in, in some places it's just difficult to get decent connectivity. One of the examples, for example, that we have been working on the past few months is I wouldn't necessarily say that Portugal is on the other side of the digital divide, but due to their geographical location and the local market, it's always been difficult to bring decent full capacity at a reasonable cost. So with this project now, we can invest in fibre. So we have a one-time investment that brings fibre from Paris down to Bilbao, then from Bilbao to Porto and into Lisbon. And the same from Lisbon to Madrid. And suddenly you have Portugal connected on a really good capacity network that's there for the next 15 years. And that's, so we, we bridge the places where it's currently it's difficult to do things with this project. We hopefully make sure that it'll be easy for the next 15 years. Mm -hmm.